rattlesnakes wouldn't be anywhere that there's not food, water, and shelter either. A few of my subscribers suggested video topics. I asked, you voted, and this was the number one suggested video topic. I'm sure that every single one of you have read my book, Build an Off-Grid Homestead with Next to Nothing, and noticed that I focus on food, water, and shelter. If it wasn't for food, water, and shelter, I wouldn't be out here in the high desert of Arizona. Guess what? Rattlesnakes wouldn't be anywhere that there's not food, water, and shelter either. And so that's what you need to do to prevent rattlesnakes is prevent food, water, and shelter for them. The reason I can leave the door open to my greenhouse is because I don't have a rodent problem. Rattlesnakes like to eat rodents. If you can get rid of rodents, they're not going to have very much to eat. Recently, I lost my favorite cat, Thelma. And previously, before losing her, she had done a phenomenal job of catching any pocket mice and keeping rodents off of the homestead. When there aren't rodents on your homestead, well, there's less likely going to be any snakes. Keeping all kinds of food at bay is important on the homestead, and that's why I have locking buckets. So I've got dog food, chicken feed, pig feed, all locked up. When there's no food, there's no rodents, and then there's less likely going to be snakes. When you have chickens, you'll have eggs, and rattlesnakes like eggs. So keeping hardware cloth or wire mesh around your chicken coop will prevent the snakes from getting to the eggs. Not to mention, my eggs are on the second level up here, making it even more difficult for the snakes to get in here. Not making omelets for snakes is a great way to keep them off of your homestead. Did you know that snakes like water? In the areas that you store water, make sure that you don't have puddles built up or a garden hose that's leaking. If you have a puddle of unattended water, it's sure to attract rodents and of course, having all of these different things in place will help prevent snakes, but you might just have a pond like I plan to have. And in that scenario, you're going to want to do your best in all the other areas and then be cautious around the pond to make sure that there's not a rattlesnake. Having your garden hose just laying on the ground could possibly accumulate water or maybe it's leaking and it provides shelter for the snake. So make sure to keep your garden hose neat and put away and any watering pans, keep them in the open so that there's not shelter to hide in around them. You don't want to have places under buildings where the snakes can climb. You don't want to have junk around your yard. And you don't want to have bad landscaping. This is my shop here, and you'll notice that there's just no way for a snake to crawl underneath it. Not only did I run skids one way, I blocked them in the opposite way. And that will prevent any rodents or snakes from getting under my shed. If you'll notice in any area that there could possibly be shelter, it's very clean and organized and I can see in and around it. I keep my homestead free and clear from clutter so that there aren't good places to hide and I'm not creating shelter for snakes. Having a highly active homestead will also keep rodents and snakes away. Having cats running around catching mice, having dogs running around and checking everything out will keep things off of your homestead. Personally, I've found that to be just about good enough. But a final thing you could do is put wire mesh or hardware cloth three feet up all the way around the perimeter of your homestead would help prevent snakes from getting in. As you can tell, I haven't done that. I simply have an electric fence. I don't mind the occasional snake coming in. For the most part, you can just be aware of it and then let it go on its way. If if the snake seems to, you know, be irritated or whatnot, you could spray it with the garden hose and it'll probably go away. Having one of those snake arms would be good if you need to relocate a snake. I would say nine times out of ten, if you do have a snake, it's probably just going to keep on going once it sees how busy your homestead is. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, leave me a comment if you have any questions guys, and I'll see you on the next video.